the teenage art prodigy whose gift has become a million dollar business. The real Rain Man with the biggest factual recall in the world. The child scientist who passed O-level chemistry aged seven. The unemployed accountant with the record-breaking memory. And the 10-year-old music prodigy ready to hit the international stage. Five people, five extraordinary talents, five very different lives. Me and God are both in control of everything. I am absolutely, completely flat broke at the moment. I don't like the meaning of child prodigy. That's a very fun thing. You don't have to be handicapped to be different. Everybody's different. Welcome to the world of genius. To some, genius is an arbitrary label. The strict definition is an outstanding artistic or intellectual ability. In short, extreme talent. 13-year-old Archiana Chromeric fits the bill perfectly, and she has a unique claim behind her gift. The earliest memory I could recall is probably when I was around four and a half, four years old. One day I started having these very amazing and mysterious visions. This voice was following me, guiding me through these galaxies. And he, I asked him, you know, who are you? And I started calling him God. Akiana is an art prodigy from Idaho who claims that God told her to paint. And for nine years, she hasn't stopped. I like to say me and God are both in control of everything. Okay. So he tells me an idea and I could just take that idea and make it better and polish it better and just put it into paints. So he's like my personal teacher, <laughs> my tutor. She was four years old when I knew there was something special about her because she was describing a lot of new things on spiritual matters and also she started drawing exceptionally well. Akiana developed an intense interest in sketching. By five years old, she was already drawing at a level way beyond her years. Myself, I thought she was dreaming. I thought there was something made out of an imagination. But when she started describing it more and more, it, it became apparent that this was actually something that did happen. By eight, Akiana was painting portraits on giant canvases. It kind of took me aback because we never read the Bible, or we didn't have any kind of spiritual connection. With no artists in her family, she was completely self-taught. This is actually one of my absolutely favorite and most memorable painting. This is called The Prince of Peace. Um, when I was, I painted this when I was eight years old with oils. Many, many artists all around the world, they always ask me, so how did you do this and how did you do that? And I was like, I don't know, I just did it. <laughs> It's, it's, it's very complicated for, uh, you know, a child to, to explain what they did. The only way they can explain is through, you know, painting or through their creativity. Described by art critics as a phenomenal talent, she has now produced more than 100 paintings, ranging from realist portraits to fantastic landscapes and the natural world. They can each take anywhere from 15 to 300 hours to complete. Akiana's genius could be explained by sheer hard work. Homeschooled, she gets up at 4 a.m. six days a week and paints for up to five hours a day. Just, just really quick, I want to see the words. Sometimes there are days, you know, sometimes when she's finishing up a painting, she might uh, paint for 12, 14 hours. And I would ask her to uh, take breaks and have something to eat or drink, and sometimes she would refuse. 
Akiana only studies the subjects she enjoys. She loves printing, publishing her, her books and poetry and art, and that's what she loves doing and let her do all day long. I don't ask her to ever do math. If critics say, no wonder she's a genius because she's devoting all her time for art, then it would be a better place in the world that there would be more people who are interested in focusing their energy to the fields that they are interested in. While some geniuses use their talents to create a feast for the eyes, others may find that their unique skills are not quite so useful. Ben Pridmore, an unemployed accountant from Derby, is perhaps an unlikely genius. But on today's shopping trip, he set himself a challenge. Ben is going to attempt to remember the 13-digit barcode of every item in his basket. This means memorizing the order of 130 digits in just five minutes. Most of us can only remember up to seven new numbers. Time for Ben to see how far he can go. Bacon. Bacon. Five, zero, 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 one, nine, two, zero, one, four, one, eight, seven. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Steak pie. Steak pie, that's... Uh, Five zero 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 one nine two uh, two six four three six zero. Yeah, Ben is the UK memory champion and a world record breaker. I hold a record for memorising the most packs of cards in an hour, 27 packs. And also for binary digits, that's ones and zeros, I hold the record for memorising the most of those in 30 minutes, 4,140 digits. <laughs> Garlic bread? That's five zero 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 one nine two zero four three seven seven four. Yep, that's right. Really, it's only since discovering this um, hobby of mine that I've, um, well, <laughs> excelled at anything, I suppose. Sweets? Five. Zero one zero three one seven zero four zero five two six. Yep, right. <laughs> How'd you do it? How'd you remember it all? <laughs> I turned the numbers into pictures. Yeah, nice. We should have at Lennon's here where a lemon being fed to a Sasquatch which is wearing a plastic Mac concealing a pack of sausages and a leg. <laughs> How do you remember the numbers by that? In practice. People are either completely nonplussed by it or they think it's extremely cool. It's sort of about a 50 50 split. I think it's wicked. That is amazing, yeah. I can't just, I can't even remember me shopping this some days. <laughs> I'm one of the few people who find this kind of thing really fun. Coming up, meet the real Rain Man. What is the earliest that Easter has ever fallen? 1761, 1818. 2274. Human computer, Kim Peake. And the child musician, programmed to be a prodigy from birth. In a way, we created it to some degree by exposing him early on. And a little baby uh, doesn't have many choices. Tell him your birthday. 07, 06, 1980. It's a Sunday, and this year it's a Sunday. You cool. retire in 2045 on a Thursday. You'll be 65 in 2045. Fantastic. <laughs> in Salt Lake City, Utah, everyone knows 56 year old genius Kim Peek. April 12, 2006. It's a Wednesday, and she'll be two years old on Saturday. And when can she retire? Good little girl. When are you going to let her retire? I'll hold her out until 2071 on a Sunday. Known by many as the real Rain Man, Kim was the inspiration for Dustin Hoffman's character in the Oscar-winning film of the same name. Brain damage since birth and a rare condition...